Hello Capricorn. Welcome to the channel. This is Asnoitja here. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. So this is a general love reading, and I'll be looking into the feelings and emotions of the person that you're connecting with on a romantic level, what it is that they're feeling and thinking towards you currently. The deck that I'm using is the Goddess Oracle deck by Amy Sophia Marashinsky. This could be for some of you who have been in a relationship. Maybe you're still in one. This could be a situationship. This could be simply that you've exchanged glances across a room and you know there's something there, but nobody's saying anything. Hmm. Okay, I'm putting this back. There's two. There's, it's stuck. There's beauty and surrender. I'm just going to put that back. There you go. Surrender. <laughs> Surrender was to come up. So this is a past life connection. Hmm. A lot of hurt and pain. Twin flame, soulmate, karmic partner, maybe even more. Ooh, third party. Uh, isn't that the case? You meet your twin flame while you're with someone. That's always the case, isn't it? <laughs> why oh my gosh it's so common it's so common wow this is a heavy reading capricorn indeed interesting so you guys can see that i hope it's not cut hmm right so Capricorn we have here boundaries followed by laughter surrender betrayal mystery synthesis shape-shifting nourishment pleasure and energy under the bottom of the deck the overall arching theme I'm going to express to you what it is that your person of interest is feeling towards you currently. My dear Capricorn, I have deliberately put up these boundaries. I know you don't like this. And I know we need boundaries, some healthy boundaries. Things got too far a while ago. I needed some cooling off time. Things didn't really turn out the way that I thought they would. Here, I was feeling emotionally vulnerable and I didn't want to feel that because I've never felt like this before. The feelings and emotions that were going through me were too intense. And so I put up a wall. Even though I find you to be one of the best friends that I've ever had, you are great. You know how to make me laugh. You know how to make my heart happy. You make me smile. I love your jokes even if sometimes they might seem a little corny. I have surrendered my mind, my body, my heart to you. And I do know that in this connection, I have been in denial and I have not given you the type of attention that you deserved. I have denied this spiritual connection for far too long. I know that I've behaved in a way that is as someone who may be very distant, as though I'm a stranger. 
what I do feel is that the way I've interacted with you, you thought you knew me, you thought you could predict what it is that I was going to say and do. But in fact, it's as if now you never knew me at all. I've said things and done things that you just can't believe. And they were not right. They were very wrong. And now I see myself and I find myself questioning the heavens. Why is it that you came into my life at this time? Why am I in your life now? Why not years ago? Why not years later? Why now? Is it because I needed you or you needed me? Was this something to do with a soul contract? When I think about you, I feel as though I know you already from somewhere else. The feeling is very nice. It's a feeling of being very comfortable. If there is a past life, I believe that you and I were together in it. And I also feel that sometimes when I'm sleeping, I feel you next to me. When I dream, I have dreams of you. And sometimes when I'm just doing my daily routine, I swear I can feel and smell your scent. It's a very strange feeling. And no matter where I go, no matter what I do, I can't stop feeling like this. It doesn't go away. It just doesn't go away. And so this is why it's so overwhelming. It's on my mind a lot. A while ago, things were really good between the both of us. There was peace and harmony in this connection. But now there is not. There is a lack of peace and harmony. And for this reason, it is important that we try to make things work. Even though I may be with someone else, even though I might be doing something else, I'm always looking just behind my shoulder to see if you were there, I'm yearning for you, I'm longing for you. Because no matter where I am, no matter what I do, I can't get my mind off you. Because you are that perfect person for me. Spiritually, emotionally, and physically, you fulfill me. And I do get physical pleasure as well as spiritual pleasure with you. You know how to make my soul happy. Overall, you have changed my life around by making me feel this spiritual side of me that I never even realized I had. I feel as though I am someone who is new, someone who has more than just this body. You have a way of bringing all of my chakra centers to life. They twirl a little faster because of you. My heart races. And I also get butterflies. I do get nervous. But this connection, my dear Capricorn, is so strong that it's so powerful that it scares me. And this is why I have started to keep and maintain this distance, even though I would like to break these boundaries. I want to break these boundaries and be close to my friend, be close to the person that I have surrendered myself to. Because I do feel that you and I were meant to be together in this lifetime. All right.
right. Oh boy. So Capricorn, there is a third party situation here. This is my third party card, the shape-shifting card. So what's interesting with this card is that it could definitely be somebody who is having an affair. It could be that. It could also be somebody that simply just has a job or trying to take care of the children during the weekends. You know, if somebody has, um, has recently had a divorce or something like that. There's an issue here where there's a lack of, en um, of energy, effort, and time that's being spent. There's a lack of that. Somebody's not able to give someone that time, energy, and effort. And that is something that's showing up here. Now, it does appear that this could either be you not getting that time, energy, and effort right now from this person, or it could be that this person is giving you that time, energy, and effort, and that's why it's a third-party situation. So just keep in mind that not all third-party uh, means that it's an affair. Sometimes it could just be that this person, they just can't give you time because of other things that are in their life. They're overwhelmed with, you know, maybe work, their career, jobs, uh, things like that. All right. But this is a very intense connection. Um, for some of you, I do past life readings. If you are interested, you can go to my website and have a look at the description. And if you resonate with it, if it's something that you're looking for, then definitely you can have um, you can place an order and then I'll look into your reading for you. There's a little bit of a wait time because those readings take a while, but eventually I can get to you. And those readings are specifically for you and one other person, not for multiple people. Um, so I look into the storyline of you and someone else, what you were doing in a past life, how things were, um, you know, what went wrong. And how is it affecting you in this lifetime? So it gives a lot of information and some closure sometimes if you need closure. It uh, just gives you more information as to why you are in the situation now. Because some people really hurt in these type of connections because they're very, very intense. Um, I would recommend some of you, you can go to my audio channel, my Asnoitia audio channel um, on YouTube and have a look at some of the videos that I have there. One is called Sensually Intense Spiritual Connections and one is called Past Life um, Spiritual Connections. That will probably help you understand a little bit more of the type of connection you have right now because that is the type of connection you guys have. It is spiritual. Okay, let's have a look at something that may have happened in the past that created a problem in the first place. This could still be happening right now. So we have transformation and we have innocence. So this is um, two major arcanas. Transformation. This talks about hmm, stagnation. So certain things should have been moving, but there was a lack of movement in this connection back then. This person was resisting transformation. They knew they had to change, but there was a fear of loss from change. If they were to change, they were afraid that they were going to lose something. That's what was happening. There's a need to allow something to die, metaphorically speaking, guys, in order to create the room for new. Creating life out of death. The need to move in a new direction, but the inability to do so and being very rigid. Okay, so basically what it comes down to is that this person has a life, a very different life than yours. There are certain things that they needed to change and they were not able to make the change. They didn't do it on purpose. It talks about being rigid, rigidity, and the inability to do so resisting transformation, not wanting to move into a new direction because they were afraid something might happen. If somebody is about to divorce someone, if a male is about to divorce a female, typically whatever the income salary is like, um, you know, many things also go to the female and the male also is afraid of that. 
um, because he has to share, right? There's a lot of legal battles that happen in divorce, oh my goodness, and common law. It's, there's so many things that happen. And so it is in society right now, the way the world is in Western countries, it is really bad. It's gotten to the point where people are just not even committing to each other, you know? I personally know somebody that didn't, it's not even the fact that he didn't want to get married. He was already married, then he divorced, then he had been, been through, you know, been there, done that type of situation. But what happened was he had a girlfriend and he didn't even live common law with her because um, it still applies. Now, the next step that he did was he didn't even meet her that much. Because apparently what happens in some places now, I'm not sure, please don't quote me on this. I'm not sure if this is true or not. Um, but there's some places out there that even if you are boyfriend, girlfriend, if you are in a long-term relationship, and even if you are at a distance, and if you separate, you can still claim something from the other person. Can you imagine? For some reason, I personally, I'm in the legal field. I personally think that's not fair. You know, there's a reason why the old-fashioned way was the old-fashioned way. You live together, okay, that works. But even if you're at a distance, I don't know. There's a lot of strange things happening out there these days. A lot of strange rules. But that happens through society because we're evolving, we're changing, and it's necessary to accommodate certain people in certain situations. So, you know, that's that side of things. But I just kind of wanted to share that because it's, it's really weird. What I am seeing here is there may be um, a situation where you have, and this is a man and that's a woman in the back. There may be this um, masculine energy. This could be a female that has masculine energy as well. Um, even in same, same sex couples have masculine and feminine. So this is a masculine energy resisting transformation, not wanting to change, not wanting to change because they are afraid what will happen to them. They're afraid because they've also worked hard in this lifetime. Whatever sacrifices they've made, they have tried. They have done their best. And I will be making a video on this one day uh, soon in regards to people that have um, had separation and why the masculine energy behaves the way that they do. But this is something that is complete resistance, absolute transformation is not possible. This is fear. This is just paranoia, fear. And some people do it. Some people do separate for the love of their life. They do it. They're able to do it because they don't care about anything else. They just want that love. And that is possible. Now we also have here innocence. Innocence is actually the fool card. Now in this deck, the way it's expressed is going into something blindly because the person here in the image is wearing a blindfold. And the female friend is, is walking with him through storms, like through the ocean. And he's playing a flute here. It's a, it's a journey. But he has faith that she will guide me on the right path. He trusts her. There's faith. You see, that's where the fool comes in from, right? A lot of the times we believe the other person. We trust the other person. That's why we're in a relationship. Here, what it talks about is ignoring the person's better instincts. They are ignoring their better instincts. They know what they need to do. They know that they need to be with you, that they should be with you. But there is cynicism and pessimism. It's a part of their nature right now because of certain things that have happened to them in the past. That's why they're behaving like this. There is also distrust of the self and of others. So there is distrust. They don't trust themselves. And they don't trust other people. So this is because they don't have confidence. Yeah. The trust part has to, you know, know thine self. <laughs> you have to know yourself. And if you don't know yourself, you won't be able to put your emotions in check. And then you can't really be with another person either. It's very difficult. Wow, this person has gone through a few things in their life that has really disappointed them emotionally and materialistically. And they don't want to get into the same problem or same situation once again. And of course, if this is a third party situation, that makes complete sense. 
some of you are in situations where the masculine energy is not le leaving the one at home to be with you and you're just that side chick, right? And that hurts. That's not the way it's supposed to be. But what do you do? Love is like a magnet. It's just hard. It's difficult to pull away from something like that. But this is a problem here. So this person has distrust of themselves um, of themselves, and also others. They don't trust others. The reason why it's because something has happened, Capricorn, in this person's life, um, in this lifetime, in their history, where they've either experienced hardships themselves or they have seen it and experienced it through others vicariously. They have done that. Um, I don't know if I use the word vicariously properly. I'm not really, my English is not 100% there. <laughs> but they are, um, they are doing what they're doing because they've experienced things themselves as well as through others. Maybe their parents had a bad divorce, you know. Maybe their uncle or their aunt went through a lot of hell during their divorce or during their separation. Maybe they weren't even married. But something here creates hesitation and fear in this person's heart. And that is the reason why they are not with you the way that you would like to be. There's boundaries. It's not good, guys. Unfortunately, I see that there is a lot of love here, but there is a lot of hesitation from this person's side. So that's why they're not doing it. It's out of fear. All right, let's have a look at the beginner's tarot deck. Any actions, any intentions, any plans that this person may have towards you. The hermit, look at that. Transformation, hermit. What this person's going to do is they are literally going to turn into a hermit and be quiet for quite some time. Oh my God. Eight of cups. Okay. Same character here. Same character. Hermit, hermit. So this person wants to be wiser. They want to know what they should do the proper way, how things should really be done. What is morally and ethically good for you and them? That's what they're thinking about. They don't want to rush. They don't want to be the fool. They don't want to go in action first, thinking later. No. Now they're really thinking about this. Before they might have been quite impulsive. I am getting with this energy that they were impulsive before, but it's almost as if they learned. Holy shit, look at that. It's almost as if they've learned. Well, did they learn? Really? We got the fool card again now. So, sorry, I swear. I usually don't swear. Um, you got three major arcanas here. Haha, <laughs> usually I don't swear on camera. <laughs> um, we have here the Hermit card. So this person definitely is kind of like keeping to themselves. They're trying to find a way how to fix the situation. And what they're going to do with the Eight of Cups, they're walking away and trying to move on to, to a better plan to a better outcome they're also trying to they're being a bit more um, introvert but they're doing it in a good way remember how this person didn't really trust themselves right and then they didn't trust others well this one also talks about them turning inward and just thinking about themselves they're thinking about what am i who am i why do i do what i do how can i fix this because i can't live like this that's what they're thinking this is why they are um, trying to meditate on themselves and with the Eight of Cups, yes, they want to move forward to bigger, better things, but they're moving on not to something else. They want to move on towards you. That's the good part. Now here we also have the Three of Pentacles. Some of you may have had a work relationship with this person, an affair at work. Oh, doesn't that happen a lot? <laughs> it does. That's very common. Um, this person might have either worked with you in the past, maybe currently. And if you have not worked with this person... If you haven't worked with this person, then this also means that this person knows now that you you are in demand and they want to use and have some type of excuse to, to be with you, to hang out with you, um, to work alongside you so that they can manifest this relationship, build something with you, simply to build that bond and that trust between the both of you. They're trying and they're going to try to do this. What's happening? The fool card. 
they be the fool. <laughs> the fool card, they are, they're going to take a leap of faith towards you. Again, um, you know, they are very useful. I'm seeing, you know what it is like, they're very useful. They're not, they're not very wise in their years in the sense they can be, you know, in their 60s and 70s. Um, but on the inside, they're still very immature, inexperienced, doubtful. The thing is with the full card, this person takes action first and thinks later. And that's a problem because then that can create problems because you are not really thinking long and hard about the connection. However, Capricorn, right in the beginning, you have the hermit. And right at the end here, you have the fool. So this person is going to think about things. But the type of action they're going to take is going to be very swift. Yes. Now we also have here temperance. So what I'm getting is the words to hell with it. <laughs> this person's going to say to hell with it. I'm going towards my Capricorn. I hope that resonates for many of you. I hope this happens. Um, but remember, this is a general love reading. It's not going to resonate for everybody out there. So we also have here temperance. This person does realize that this is a spiritual connection, spiritually balanced. They want to balance the both of you, the love, the affection, everything. They just want to have a better balance because it was very much one-sided and they realized this and they don't want that to be like that anymore. They want it to be something that's more promising going forward. Okay, so do I see this person taking action? I do. Definitely here, here, and here. Definitely there's action. But it's only going to happen, guys, after some time. Remember, the Hermit takes a while. Eight of Cups also takes a while. There's a lot of thinking, pondering, self-contemplation, being in isolation, keeping themselves away from the rest of the world, putting those boundaries up because they want to concentrate on who they are, finding their true meaning in life. Who are they? Why are they here? Why are they treating you like this? That's an issue for them and it's good. They need to do that. They need to have that self-reflection. All right, let's have a look at what the angels have to say about this one. All right. <laughs> wait. Do you guys see that? The way it just came out? No, you don't. Okay, it just says wait. Just wait. So they're telling you to wait. First card's the strongest. These messages are brought to you by Archangels Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel. So they are telling you to wait. Some of you may have lost a lot of patience. Um, and I, I mean, I can imagine this type of relationship is really is really difficult. You've been waiting for a while, many of you. And it's because of this indecisiveness, you know, this fear of transformation. That's where this was coming from. But it's really good because in the coming days, this person wants to go into the hermit mode and finally find out why are they doing what they're doing. That's good. There's no need to worry. They are telling you this. Okay, please, let's not fall. One second. Uh, okay, only one fell. There's no need to worry. No, there's no need to worry. <laughs> some of you might have been, when I said there's no need to worry, some of you might have been, yeah, right. There's no need to worry. I am worried. But then that's a confirmation. No, there's no need to worry. Be assertive. Very good. This is now talking about how the ball is in your court, Capricorn. When you get a chance to communicate with this person, be assertive. Let them know what your boundaries are. Keep those healthy boundaries. They will respect you. Respect is important because respect equals long term. Okay? Be assertive. Let them know what you're comfortable with and what you're not comfortable with. It's very important to do that so that they can also meet you at your level and they will be fearful of hurting you in any kind of way. You also have to be very assertive. Um, some of you might have actually felt low self-esteem and you were afraid when this person would leave. You felt you were not good enough. That's not right. This is why the angels are telling you to be assertive. Don't bend over backwards. 
and break a few bones, that's not you. That's not the real you. You have to be the real you in order to be with this person because they should love you the way you are. Yes, there are adjustments in every relationship. And to a certain degree, it's okay. But when you start to completely change for the person, that's not, that's not you. That's them turning you into what it is that they want. You don't want that. Because eventually you'll get, a, you'll get you know, fed up of that, that facade or that charade. And you'll want to change back to your original self. Because clearly this person didn't change. There's this expectation that people have when they're in relationships. That I'll change a little and they'll change a little. But then one changes more and then the other doesn't change as much. And they go back to their own ways. Um... You just have to adjust and it has to be equal. It has to be an equal give and take. There's no reason to bend over backwards. You're better than that. Helpful people are around you. This is what the angels are saying. It's important for you to hang out with people that do care about you. Go out, have some fun. Get that confidence back. Get that self-esteem back. Start feeling alive again. Um, it's important to feel that, that feeling, because then you elevate to a higher level of consciousness as well. Some people will be helpful. This could be your family or friends. And of course, I've mentioned in many readings before, this could also be um, simply resources, you know, a book, a blog. This could be a YouTube video in relationship, about relationship, um, you know, um, dealings. What do, you, what do you call it? Relationship counseling, for example. So that, something like that, um, how to handle something like this situation, what should you do? So there are helpful people out there, there's chat rooms, there's many places you can contact. Um, you know, even down in the comments below, you can help each other and talk to each other. Now we also have here, yes, big happy changes. I'm so happy to see that. <laughs> so yes, there's going to be changes, they're going to be big, and you're going to be happy about it. Very nice. Now you also have here, not the right time under the bottom of the deck, the overall arching theme, which umbrellas all of this. So Capricorn, you might really be, you know, antsy. There's ants in your pants. You just want this to hurry up. You're sick and tired of this. You're sick and tired of the wait. I'm sorry, but it does say it's not the right time. And I know that's not what you want to hear. But if some of you want to wait, go ahead. If you don't, this person's not the end-all be-all. They're not. I've seen with the type of things that I do, the type of supernatural and weird stuff that I do, I've seen that we do have endless amount of timelines and realities that we can shift into. So the way it works is that the heavens, which we call the heavens, which is on a di different dimension, the beings there, they create and they help create different realities for us. That's their job. That's the way it works. The realities are written almost as like stories, various different stories. Right now, for example, you are on track number one with this person, right? And you are playing the part that was written, like a play. The world is a stage, it really is. And then... You don't want to be with this person anymore because you've been waiting for years. You don't have to wait. You just simply change your mindset. You shift. You move from track number one to track number four. And then boom, you're on a different path. That path is already set out for you. All you're doing now is playing the part. And your part is still there. There is still always a good outcome. But as long as you try to look for it, to some degree, we do make our own destinies. We do. You have to make your own destiny. You are the one that is able to make yourself happy or make yourself sad. If you allow somebody to make yourself sad, then you are allowing that. Sometimes we are stuck in relationships and we don't have a way out. I know that. But if you do have a way out, it is important to realize your worth. And earlier I just said there is no way out. There is always a way out, of course. There's always a way out. 
Um, that's why you have breath, hands, arms, legs to move, to leave. You have that. You have other resources. You have helpful people that you can go to, that you can talk to. So this is some type of message here for, I'm getting, like for somebody out there, maybe a few of you. You have been very, like you've lost all your confidence. You know, you don't have that confidence anymore in yourself. Just know that you are beautiful, you are handsome, and that it's important to reinvent yourself. Because as long as you have your health, you are able to achieve many things in this lifetime. And it's important to do that. For some of you, it's okay. There's no problem, you can wait. But for others of you, if you are pretty tired of waiting for this person, and because of the type of relationship it is, the type of person you're dealing with, they have a lot of issues on their own, if you can't deal with that anymore, don't worry. You can jump from track number one to four and then even to nine or ten. doesn't matter. Each track is written out there for you. It is a story that you just have to go and you play the part. And it comes naturally. It all comes naturally. But you can only do that if you yourself take that effort and put yourself out there. And I know it's a difficult, difficult mindset when you're in love with somebody. It's not easy to do that. And it's not good to distract yourself either because then you may be impulsive. You don't want that. For now, for those of you that are thinking about not wanting to be with this person that you just can't tolerate them anymore, I would definitely say go hang out with some friends. Be youthful again. Remember what you wanted to do when you were younger. Those hobbies. Start discovering certain passions that you have that you never knew. That's the way you build yourself up. And then you don't really need this person. And then you will attract somebody even better than this person. That's the way it works. Capricorn, that is your reading. I hope I was able to provide you with some clarity and some guidance. You all take care, stay safe. And thank you once again for your encouragement, for your support. I'll see you guys again. All right then. Bye now.